Aloha, it's Kim Deline with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Geminis for the month of December 2017. Happy holidays, everyone. We are going to be doing a little special feng shui treat for you at the end of the video, which is going to be feng shui for bells, so kind of appropriate for the season. But we will do our theme for the month. We're going to get a little bit more guidance from our angels, and then the, we're going to be using the healing deck. So we're going to be talking about your health this month. So this could be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health. Any of those things can come into play here. And let's go ahead and get started. So we've got the High Priestess coming in for you. This is Archangel Haniel. And this High Priestess energy is really about intuition, listening to your intuition. So this is going to be something that's going to be a theme for you this month, something that's going to be important for you to do. It's always important, I feel like. But in particular for you guys this month, listening to your intuition, having patience is the other piece of this, right? And really being in a space of like, let's not rush into things, let's really carefully consider what we want before we take action, okay? So carefully consider what you want before you take action and tap into that intuitive sense that you have. Let's see what else is coming up for you this month. Remember, if you, you know, if you're enjoying these readings and want more like personal guidance, I do offer private readings as well. And if you haven't had a reading with me before, you can use the coupon code ANGEL20 to save 20%. There's links below so you can save 20% on your first reading with me. And they are all recorded. You get some juicy bonuses with it as well. And the readings since I've been in Maui, oh my gosh, so awesome and so right on. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what we've got here for you. We've got Three of Fire. This is a great card for you. This is abundance, right? This fire energy is all about passion and action, also about your fame and your reputation, how you show up in the world. And this abundance is letting you know things are looking good in the month of December for you. And you may need to have some patience, but really you can make plans. You can bank on, essentially bank on this abundance that's coming through and you can make long-term plans is what this is indicating for you. And then we've got eight of water energy. So this is a little bit different energy for you. Water cards are all about the depth of emotion and this particular water is about that sense of like, I'm just not satisfied anymore. You have this sense that you want to move on. So it's a desire for something more meaningful. You want something that's that's more um, means more to you in your life. Um, so it's about spiritual growth, emotional growth, and um, just sort of that search for the next thing. Okay, but there's something that you're, you know, the, the real clear energy is there's something that you're ready to move on from, whether that's a relationship, a job, a friendship, you know, a home, I don't know what that is, but it, it is definitely that desire to move on. And again, eights are, are abundance, I feel like. So we've got the star coming in for you, which is Archangel Jophiel, and Archangel Jophiel is our feng shui angel. She is also our angel of beauty and this particular card also bodes well for money and you see that she's got those sort of unlimited pictures so there's just a flow continuous flow coming through there this is about happy times this is about making long-term plans so again you're getting that long-term plan in in indication there twice and she's letting you know that you definitely are on the right path okay so whatever you're doing, you are on the right path. So it's really good to stay with that, um, that trajectory, right? Gotta love that. All right, let's see what we've got for your health this month. I feel like I gotta, I like I gotta shuffle them the other way because the cards are getting too, like, bent that way. Sometimes we just have to do things a little differently. Okay, avoid allergens. 
So this one is related to something that you're allergic to, right? So there, this can be related to food. It can be also related to products. So I know that a few years ago, I shifted from the, the beauty line of products that I was using, I shifted to using natural products. And I actually now use Lemongrass Spa, which is a, they're all natural, organic. And it, I, I don't have the irritation. Like I used to get a lot of irritation and I don't have that with my skin. I just feel good about what I'm putting on my body with the lotions and different things like that. They have all kinds of stuff, deodorants, bug spray even, baby stuff, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below. It is, a, it is just a great product. So if you're looking for something more natural, but they might even be like laundry detergent that you're having an allergic reaction to, but it definitely could be food as well. So lots of times gluten, dairy, um, you know, caffeine, alcohol, sugar, there's all kinds of different things that you may be having a reaction to. So this is just letting you know that you've got to avoid those things. It's just your body can't process them anymore. It can't take it anymore. And then we've got the acceptance card coming in for you. So this acceptance is really about like, let's stop fighting against what is. Be in a space of like, okay, this is what's happening. Say yes, and now what? So this is something that we do in improv all the time. It's like, say yes to whatever somebody else is, um, you know, donning you with. So if somebody says, oh, you're my, you know, sister, then you are, I am their sister in the scene, right? And that is, I have to say yes to that because they have given that trait to me, right? As a sister, oftentimes there's other traits that they give you that aren't so pleasant, but you got to say yes to that. And then what, right? So be in a space of saying yes, and then now what do I do? What's my next step now? And then we've got change position. So there are some of you that need to be working with someone else. So it might be just like the doctor that you've been seeing just doesn't have the solution for you. Maybe you need a more holistic practitioner. Maybe you need a different type of doctor, right? Follow the intuitive nudges and the guidance that you're getting around that. But uh, there are many of you that need to change your physician. It might even be changing a dentist for that matter or somebody else that, you know, does medical kind of stuff for you. So um, could even be, I suppose, like a pharmacist or something like that too. I don't know. I don't know what else that would be. But that is the guidance that we have for you for this month. Stay tuned for the next video that's going to give you some quick feng shui tips related to bells. Much love. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your quick feng shui tip for this month. And this month we're going to be talking about bells. So I have a little bell here with me, and bells are really great energy. We use them in feng shui for a number of different things. One of the things that they do, of course, is represent movement because they do move, they make noise and they make movement, right? And then the other thing that they have is sort of this calling or attraction energy to them. And so we can use bells in a number of different ways in feng shui. Today I'm going to give you just one quick tip on how you can use bells to attract energy to you. So what we are going to share with you today is about using bells at your front door. You'll see this oftentimes in restaurants where they might have a little bell over the doorway, particularly in Chinese restaurants, right? They have a little bell over the doorway and it's that attraction energy. And so you also can, and especially at this time of year in the holiday season, it's always fun to have a bell on your door in the season. So you can use a brass bell like this. No, I'm getting that out of the camera. Sorry about that. You can use a brass bell like this or you can use any other type of bell. And hanging that on your front door will attract more energy to you. It will attract more opportunities and potentially more abundance along with those opportunities. So that's my quick feng shui tip for this month. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm spreading the love for the holiday season. I have a super special for my angel reading gift certificates for the holidays so this will be good between now and 
December 26th. I'm actually going to give you to the day after Christmas to take advantage of this special. And the coupon code is going to be love. I wore the love shirt so that you could easily remember that is going to be the coupon code. I'll put the link below. And again, you can purchase gift certificates for yourself or other people. They are good for 30 or 60 minute sessions with me. And you can, I'm not putting any limit on the number that you can purchase of them so you can feel free to stock up right for yourself or for other people in your life and it really does make a great gift to be able to give someone guidance for the holidays and that sense of calm and reassurance and that connection with their angels and guides if they have loved ones that have transitioned this is a great time of year to offer a gift certificate to them for connecting with their loved ones right because we all love to feel that connection with our loved ones over the holidays and it's a beautiful gift to be able to give so that is my angel reading special for gift certificates and then I'm also offering a really fast shift for feng shui and this is my fast floor plan analysis and it is typically 197 i'm offering it for 147 through the end of december so this one will actually go through the end of the month and you can schedule the appointment out further so it's it's flexible in that anytime that you book it in the month of December is fine, then you can actually schedule the appointment out into the new year because I know the holidays are a little bit crazy. So if you're interested in really learning what your Bagua looks like on your home, learning the things that you can do to shift the energy in your space, this is a really quick consult to be able to do that. So it's not my, my higher level one that I did before, but it is a uh, quicker consult for the feng shui and for people that are just like curious maybe they don't you know aren't ready to invest in a full consultation this is perfect and it also makes a wonderful gift as well so if you have any interest in that we have the the links below and i look forward to working with you whether it be an angel reading feng shui or coaching i love 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 to be of service oh forgot to tell you the code for the feng shui is fast F-A-S-T. And again, that the links are below. The code for the angel reading certificates is love. And the code for the fast feng shui floor plan analysis is fast. So I'm making them very simple words for you to remember. I hope that this holiday season brings you so much joy and love and light and peace. And that you move into this new year with a sense of purpose and a sense of knowing what your journey is, what your path is, and what you're meant to be doing. Love you so much.